Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 7 and VirtualBox. So, um, VirtualBox is basically you can install operating system or in a virtual machine. So, it's basically um, an emulator with a real copy of it. And I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 7 on it. So, let me show you the links you need. Uh, the fun fact these will all be in the description. So number one, we need VirtualBox itself. So it's from the official website, and this is um you can just download here. If you have Windows, click that. If you have Mac OS, click that. If you have um and if you have um Linux, you can have that. You can download that. But this is a Mac OS for Intel. This is Mac OS um for M1 and M2 as well. And the second link is a Windows 7 Ultimate um Service Pack One download. So here we can just click download and it will download depending on your internet speed. I already have a download because it's a large file. So when you've done that, um, follow the steps. So now when you've done everything here, when you're here, just click new. Then when you, so let's just load. So now just type in Windows any name Windows Seven, Windows Seven YouTube. And um, it's it's gonna automatically have selected Windows 7, but if it's not for some reason, just click this like this here, x64. Click next. Then the RAM, the memory. Um, just select this so depending on your um computer speed, like the RAM on your computer. So it normally selects two gigabytes. If you wanna give it half of your RAM, like four gigabytes, um, sure. So basically, how to check it? Um, if you're on Windows 10, 11, just search. Go on the start menu, search up this PC. I'm on Windows 7, so then when you get to this PC, my computer, just right click on it, click properties, and it'll take you to control panel or settings. And here it'll say um 8 gigabytes and a 64 bit operating system. So I can give it 4 gigabytes, but I'll give it 2 because that should be enough. Click next, then click create, then just choose that, click next, then just keep it like that. Um, next, then the storage. 32 gigabytes should be enough for Windows 7. Click next, right now. Then here, I'll click settings. And first, we're gonna go to display and enable CD acceleration. So we're enabling this because of you can it will have Windows error. So the transparency effect. To do that, now here, click on storage. Click empty here. Then click on this this button. And then click choose a disk file. When you download to wherever you put on the down the Windows 7 download. Now um I put it here, so I'm gonna click on it. Then click on open. Then click OK. Then you can click start. So let it just start because I have to um get everything. It didn't take long here. The starting virtual machine here, virtual box. And so we'll be doing Windows is loading files. It just shows that. Then um after this it'll just show um starting Windows. So it won't take that long, but I'm gonna um I'm gonna fast forward. Here we go, it didn't take that long, so you could select your country and all that. Okay, so guys, um, when you're done, just click on, so here, Windows 7, language to install, normally it's English. Then here, on time, I'll, it's English United States, but I'll change it on um, wherever you live. Oh, wait, not, I accidentally clicked the wrong one. Okay, now uh, the keyboard, um, the keyboard or input method. I'll keep it uh, US, on US. Click next, then install now. Okay, guys. So here, please read the license term. Just click accept and click next. Then here, um, click a custom advanced, the bottom one. Then just select that. Then click next. Then this is probably going to be the longest part. Um, the copying Windows files. So expanding Windows files, so um, let I'll let it do this. I'll fast forward this, 
and I'll let it do it. So I'll be right back. When this is done, it's pretty simple. So enter a name. I'm just gonna enter in the channel name. A pen password. If you, you don't need one, so if you want, just click. I'll um, just type it in. But no, just click next. Product key. Yeah, just click skip. Then here, just click use recommended settings. Just click the time zone, this is the correct one. Click next. Then click on home network. Depending where you are. And connecting your uh, network and uh, connecting to your network and applying settings. And okay, Windows 7 Ultimate. Windows is finalizing your settings. when we're in you're gonna notice this one on windows error transparency so um, if i go to personalize it go to windows 7 basic you know if i select um windows 7 it's not gonna change because we don't have drivers yet it's gonna kind of run slow and it's not full screen so how to install drivers so go up here let me and click devices then click up insert guest edition uh, guest edition cd then just search explorer then click on computer and click on just double click it then just click on on vbox the windows edition edition and, uh, down here just click next next and yeah, make sure three direct 3d support is enabled just tick it okay so so when it's done just um select reboot now then click finish and it should be restarting okay guys so um it has logged in and if it looks like this or it hasn't been it hasn't just full screen just um okay i'm just go back here then just when you're in like a window, just um, make it full screen, then it should be on full screen now. So after when you see this, um, and after when you've done this and you don't see Windows error, you have to right click, then go to personal, personalize. Then install on Windows 7 Basic, so I'm just going to select Windows 7 error. There's a lot of other things, so please wait. And there we go, you got Windows error now. So yeah, you can just go here, you can do something, it runs better, faster, and there you go, Windows Zero. So, thank you so much for watching this video, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!